Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly add a text box in Google Docs. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in Google Docs. Google Docs doesn't have an obvious way to add a text box to a document. However, you can achieve this using a hack. Let's look at how to quickly do that. Returning to the Google Docs start page, I'll begin by opening an existing document. I can do this by moving my mouse pointer over it and clicking on it once. To add a text box to this existing document, we need to start by moving to the toolbar shown at the top of the page. There are a number of options shown here, but the one we're interested in is insert. Clicking on this once to open it, I'm going to move down the list of links which I'm presented with until I reach the drawing option. Some further options are shown and I'm going to choose to add a new drawing. Choosing that option opens a new drawing window in Google Docs. You'll see at the top of this window there are a number of drawing tools displayed. Moving my mouse to the small text icon you can see, this option allows you to create a text box. Let's click on it once to choose it. Moving back to the drawing space, you'll see our cursor has now changed from an arrow to a small cross. Clicking in the space shows a familiar text box and a flashing cursor to enter your text into it. It doesn't really matter where you click on the drawing area as it will be cropped to the size of your text box. I'll now quickly enter the text I want to add to the document using my text box. Before I leave this drawing area, I'll also reduce the size of the text box so it aligns more closely with the size of my text. And to confirm I'm happy with that, I'll click on the large blue save and close button. We're now returned to our document in Google Docs and you'll see our text box is shown at the top. I'll click on the text box once to select it and if I move my cursor over it, you'll see it changes to indicate that. If I click and hold my left mouse button, I can move that text box within the document. While still holding my left mouse button down, I'll move the cursor to where I want to position it in the document. And I can now place it simply by releasing my left mouse button. The text box is then moved to that row in the document. How the existing text in the document wraps around the text box is determined by the toolbar shown below it. Five different layout options are available, but by default, the text box is added as inline. This means that the text box is simply placed in the next available space on the page. So you'll see in this document, the text box is positioned in the middle of a sentence. The next option allows you to wrap existing text around the text box. Choosing that layout style allows the box to be displayed across multiple rows of text. The next option is called break text, and as the name suggests, this will split the existing text and add the text box to a new line. The last two layout options are quite similar. The first will move the text behind the existing text as shown on screen. And if I now move that text box to some clear white space and choose a final option, this will move the text box in front of any text on the page. Editing the text is also very quick to do. You can do that by clicking on the edit option in the toolbar. We then return to the draw box and you can then edit the text to suit your document. Once you're happy with that, click on the blue save and close button to continue. And using the layout options, I can alter and move my text box to position it correctly in the document. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.